Achievement Mentor and Program Overview. Getting started. Welcome to the Achievement Mentoring, or AM, Program Overview. This video will provide an introduction to the program structure and model, mentor role, and considerations for mentee selection. We'll begin with an overview of the program model. AM program structure. A key component of the program model is the stakeholder team, which is composed of four to six individuals who hold roles such as administrators, faculty, counselors, and other school staff. As you think of who to invite to join the stakeholder team, the diversity of voices that will support the various components of AM should be prioritized. The stakeholder team coordinator or STC, is also a member of this team. The STC is the primary contact and liaison between your school and Center for Supportive Schools. This individual provides support to the mentors, participates in AM training, and supports the logistics associated with AM implementation. Below the STC on the diagram are the mentors. Most often, 10 mentors are invited to participate, but the number of mentors will be determined by your school team and your CSS coach will be happy to talk through considerations as you choose the target number of mentors. Mentors meet with their mentees weekly and check in with one of their mentees' teachers. These individuals also communicate with the parents and guardians of their mentees. Mentors and mentees continue weekly check-ins for two academic years. Finally, at the base of the model are the mentees and families. Each mentor has two to three mentees, so up to 30 mentees and their families are supported by a trained mentor. Program Purpose The Achievement Mentoring Program drives the work of the stakeholder team and mentors. Achievement mentoring supports successful high school completion by matching students with a school-based caring adult who will support, encourage, and advocate for their success. AM Goals The goals of Achievement Mentoring are as follows. To reawaken the mentee's passion about achieving life's success, now and in the future to support students in feeling connected to school in order to enhance their learning and academic achievement, to partner with students in navigating one to two potential barriers to high school completion, to teach effective problem-solving skills, and to support the cultivation of positive habits and patterns of behavior. Achievement Mentoring believes all students have the capacity to achieve great things and we can support them on their individualized journey there. Outcomes. There are a number of statistically significant program effects that have been shown from long-term, randomly controlled program evaluations. These AM evaluation findings show improved grades, increased school attendance, decreased discipline referrals, and decreased juvenile arrests. It is key to highlight here that a mentor-mentee commitment of two years is an important piece of the program model and associated evaluation findings. AM has also been certified as a promising program by Blueprints for Healthy Youth Development, recognized by the National Dropout Prevention Center as a model program demonstrating strong evidence of effectiveness, its highest effectiveness rating, and rated as a promising program by the National Mentoring Resource Center. Overview of Mentor Role. Next, we'll take a look at the AM Mentor Role. Mentor Responsibilities. AM mentors have a few weekly responsibilities to support schools in using the AM model. Every week, mentors collect that week's attendance, promptness, and discipline referral data 
for each of their mentees and interviews one teacher for each mentee about that week's classroom behavior and academic work. They complete a weekly report form and obtain one positive comment from the teacher about their mentee. Then the mentor meets with individual mentees for 20 minutes per mentee and completes a brief online mentor reporting and tracking form following the weekly session with their mentees. There are also a few long-term responsibilities. Every month, mentors participate in a mentor-focused coaching session with a CSS consultant and leaves a positive message for the parents or guardian of each mentee. As needed, the mentors meet with a CSS coach via phone, video conference, or email. During year one, the mentors also participate in ongoing training, three days total, or the equivalency in virtual training. Finally, during year two and beyond, mentors continue to provide mentoring and report on mentoring activities using the online reporting system. Who serves as a mentor? Mentors can come from a variety of different roles within your school building, including teachers, guidance counselors, social workers, nurses, psychologists, professional counselors, administrators, substance abuse counselors, community agency counselors placed in the school, or other human service workers. While mentors can come from a wide variety of roles, it is important that each individual is committed to positive youth development and are youth friendly, open to professional development and feedback, and are creative and energetic. How do achievement mentors do it? Mentors view youth's problems as learned habits that can be changed and view what they are not doing as skills not yet learned. The mechanism or process of change is that students become more confident that they can succeed in school through skilled mentoring by a trained, supportive, non-parental adult. Mentee selection. Now we'll move from information about mentors to considerations for selecting mentees to participate in AM. When implementing AM remotely, it is recommended that school select students who attended school at least three times per week prior to remote learning, but may have had challenges attending regularly, participated or tried to participate and had challenges in distance learning during the 2019-20 school year to some extent, whether by signing in to be marked present, submitting work to at least some classes, or engaging in live remote class sessions. Received an incomplete in one or more classes as a result of disengagement or unsubmitted work. Had multiple discipline referrals during either of the past two school years. Are likely to benefit from this type of one-on-one -on -one adult-led, behaviorally focused mentoring program, and will likely be enrolled in your school for at least the next two academic years to allow for full participation in this two-year program. It's also important to note that after selecting students, schools need to ensure that students are either provided with or already have access to a device that enables them to connect virtually or by phone with their mentor on a weekly basis. Reflections and next steps. An important practice for every organization is taking the time to purposefully and authentically reflect on our learning, work, and time together. The following are a couple of reflection questions for your consideration today. What's something you heard or thought about today that's going to stay on your mind? What's a question or concern that you're walking away with? I encourage you to jot down your answer to these questions. 
to discuss them with your team and with your CSS coach during an upcoming stakeholder team meeting. Finally, please contact your CSS coach to let them know you are ready to set up a time to briefly meet virtually. Your CSS coach will be in communication with you throughout this onboarding process and will work with your team to find a time and electronic platform that is most convenient. Thank you so much for taking the time to view this video. We look forward to connecting with your team to answer your questions and to assist with planning for achievement mentoring at your school.